Oh yeah, things are about to get real. We gotta get this thing going. So I can rescue my own trucks. Just look at it. Man. All right, so we're just gonna put together some battery cables. So we can test this pump out. See what this thing does. We've got, I can see some modification I wanna do to this. Somebody else has already modified it a little bit. And uh, I'm not sure I agree with what they've done. So we'll have to see. So. Okay. All right, and then we'll put a red shrink tape on that. I'll go get some. And then that'll delineate red from, from black. All right, so. This on, and this on. Oh, well. This we're going to clean this nut up a little bit. Uh, crows are talking. I don't think they like that dog barking, that's what it all comes down to. That dog's been barking for about three months. Uh, I think he's just trying to break it of, of doing that, but it's pretty annoying either way. There's nothing wrong with the dog, it just wants to come inside. It's got separation anxiety, maybe. So this thing only has one solenoid. And so I'm not really sure even how it's supposed to work. Of course, I just broke it inside, so that's cool. Super cool. <clears throat> right now, we'll just make some couple feet long cables.
got some battery hooked up. And now we're going to uh, just test fire this thing and see what what happens. Looks like we got a ground right here and uh, we're going to uh, stick some fluid in there <laughs> see what happens now obviously you gotta Hold that funnel up a little bit so it doesn't airlock. And you want to sneak up on it, right? You don't want to. You don't want to just fill it up and overflow it all over the trailer. Oh, look at her go. Oh, boy. Yep, there's that oil in the trailer thing I was talking about. So what we'll do is we'll get a couple little rags in there. All right, let's, uh, let's see what happened here. We definitely got a big old leak. We're going to take this pin out. And unhook this down here, and uh, yeah, then we'll lift this up. Holy cow, that is not moving, huh? Uh, I don't think those either those things are in there, right? Um, I think that's stuck in there. Yeah. So we'll take uh, take that pin out. All right. That's got a hole. Don't got a hole of that no more. And then what we'll do is pick that up. We'll stick this in there. Oh boy. Super heavy. Okay. Alright, so we got a good solid. Got us a good solid quart of fluid. When I heard it start to pressurize, it should have stopped. Okay. It looks like this is full, but it's really not because that's full of dirt. And, uh, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we'll just let these rags do their job, you know, soaking up this transmission oil. And uh, we'll get these lines off. We'll go up to O'Reilly's, get some made. These cylinders are not gonna work, probably. And so, 
Yeah, there's that. And this thing is just still pouring fluid out. Because, you know, we pressurized it and, well, that's just how it works. And so I wonder how you let it back down. It, it must be one of those things where Must be one of those things where just the weight of the truck lets it back down so you must push it up put a pin in then let it come back down because there's no down uh, looks like you could make it down pretty easy like seems like maybe that pins rusted solid down there yeah And then we're going to drill a hole in there so any oil that leaks out of these cylinders will be able to escape there. That way we don't just collect up a podge of oil, grease, you know. Oh, I can't kick that backwards because this is in its way. I see... That was kind of a dick move on my part, wasn't it? Let's see. We need a we need a pin. <sighs> yeah. You suppose you suppose that's junk I suppose it probably is suppose this one's junk I suppose it probably is Yep. 
but that bitch would bust it right off. These are pretty fancy. All right, we need to get that oil sopped up. This uh, cylinder's stuck on that pin, so I may not even be able to get that out. We'll have to whack on that pin a little bit and see if it moves. I can't whack on it from this side. Nope. Yeah, they ain't never gonna come off that cylinder. So, uh, chances are these cylinders aren't any good anyways. This one moves pretty good. Uh, yeah, that sucks. So I would like to put a new pin on there before I put some weight on it, but really it just lifts the truck, doesn't carry the truck. The crossbar carries the truck. Um, I got some more crap out from underneath this cylinder by beating on it, so that's kind of cool. This cylinder might be good, but it doesn't do me any good if this cylinder's good. Because uh, the pin's stuck in that one, so the only way I'm getting it out is to cut the pin out. And, uh, and if I do that, I might as well put two new cylinders on it. Oh, joy. Thing's super heavy. I'll have to run it through. I'll have to run it some cleaner through it. I may end up getting a new hose for this vacuum and then letting the uh, letting this one be a grimy hose. Oh yeah, it's horrible. I may just take the filter out and uh, let this suck down a bottle of uh, a bucket of warm soapy water and just clean this hose.
All right, so don't really know what I want to do yet. Maybe I'll just hook a, another hose up and uh, see if I can make those cylinders move. If I can, maybe I'll put them back in, run it up and down a few times. Let me see if I got a, if I got a hose that'll run it. That sucks. What's your dealio? Okay. Cylinders are not wanting to go up, just like I figured. We'll try and uh, see if I can get them broke free. Chances are it's going to need some some cylinders. Yep, that one ain't going to go anywhere. The bad thing about tractor supply cylinders is they've got uh, square ends. Oh yeah, this thing is busted. Uh -huh. <sighs> Bad thing about doing this is putting a lot of pressure in those cylinders, and if it blows a hose, could cover you. Oh no. Pump motor is smoking. Oh no. So I'm gonna need cylinders and a pump. And that's no good. And I think this is a solenoid that lets it down. Pump was running good. As soon as I started putting pressure to it, she starts smoking. So, in order for me to do this, I'm going to have to mount, I'm going to have to get a new pump, new cylinders. I'm talking about a little bit of money. And then is this thing even going to be worth money? I have to do it at that point. Uh, don't really know. This cylinder started to go up. But I'm betting that they're that these cylinders are not going to be savable. If I could get this pin out, I could take them to my cylinder guy and 
spend a, you know 300 bucks fixing them um, but again I just don't know I don't know if that's prudent you see how this is already hitting that and then somehow this lifts this piece you know and this is what lifts the truck and so I need to put a pin I need to get a pin replacement on this I don't know I don't really even know I don't think that's supposed to be, I don't think this is, I think this is something completely different. just don't know. Candy's just not the right truck to be a tow truck because you know she's got that tall fifth wheel on there. I mean it's all the way forward, so I mean it'd be a little bit different if you pull it back, but it'll still be on this pretty big slope. And then I don't know. There's a lot of things this thing needs. So I might spend fifteen hundred bucks trying to make this work. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know what this is. This should be the lift boom. You know, you should get three or four wraps of chain through there and then it should grab the other piece. But that long fifth wheel is just ridiculous. I don't know. So, who knows, who knows what we're going to do. Uh, anyways. That's it for today, probably. I need to get inside, make some breakfast. We're going out of town, so uh, 